satisfying hobby. Plants beautify the environment. Plants are a source of food. Plants purify the air. Plants can be a satisfying hobby. Again, kana plants are reproduced by the underground stems. And come along here. We have a beautiful exora plant. Now, how to propagate this exora plant? We can cut the stem at this point, at this point, and we can plant the stem. This is known as stem cutting. Later on, we will show you how. Over here are the heliconia plants. Again, they are propagated by underground stem. Heliconia plants are a group of plants belonging to a family and uh, the ginger plant is one of them. Earlier, I talked to you about the exora plant, the one with the small brightly colored flowers. Now this is a stem, we can do stem cutting and propagate this plant this way. Just get a small pot. And there you are, it's done. After we have planted this stem, we should cut away the leaves. Do you know why? Because the leaves 
will lose water and the plant hasn't got enough roots yet. So we remove the leaves and let the new leaves grow from the stem. So in this way, the stem will not dry up. So, what are you doing? Now, this is the leaf of a bryophyllum. Sometimes, wow. some people call it a live plant. By putting this in the soil, it will start to grow new plants like this. Look how beautiful. Wow. All these are propagated from the leaf. So I am replanting this one and so I am putting it here. They produce buds also, right? Yeah, they produce buds. Okay. Over here, we have a coleus plant. In a, just like the Exora, we can find a stem and do a stem cutting. Here yeah. and buds here. Mm -hmm. So by putting this in the soil, the roots will grow off the stem and the leaves will grow off here. The buds so, are so small. Yeah, the buds is very small. And this pandan plant pandan. can also be propagated using the underground stem. The underground stem can be used. And you know what pandan plant is for? No. For nasi lemak. For nasi lemak, for cooking, yes, for making kuih. And right here, we have already planted potatoes. Can we eat them? Uh, potatoes we cannot grow in Singapore because of the climate. But we can uh, see the see the shoots grow. See the shoots grow after we have planted. After we have planted for a few days, we can see the shoots grow out of the buds. And this one is a sweet potato. Wow! And you can see the roots have grown. Okay, this is a sweet potato. What do you call in Malay? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Malay? What do you call it? Don't know. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to the eco garden. It looks like a spider. Yes. The common name for this plant is spider lily. It is otherwise known as quinum lily. How does it grow? Uh, it can be propagated by underground stem in the form of a bulb. You know what's a bulb? No. Onions are bulb. Garlic are bulb. So the lily the lilies are bugs too. They, they are propagated that way. Is this a money plant? No, this is not a money plant. We call this dumb cane. A what? Dumb cane. It's not dummy. It's not dumb. It's just a name. Uh, Alright, if you look here. But there are stems. Yeah, there are stems here. So this one is propagated by? Uh, the, the stem, underground stem. Right, very good. And over here, you know the name of this? Mother-in-law. Uh, Mother-in-law what? Don't know. <laughs> mother-in-law tongue. Why is it called it a tongue mother-in-law? Probably what? because it's very long. And it looks oh. like a tongue. Yeah, how do we propagate? Can you guess? No. no. But underground no. stem? No, not underground stem. This the one, ah, this one we cut the leaf. And we insert it into the soil to plant them. Oh. Let's go and look at the cactus. Wow, cactus. Does this plant grow only in desert? Uh you can see it can it can grow in Singapore, but in the desert it can survive because it has a store of food and water. Do you think this is a leaf? No! So it's a very stem. Good. Yes, it's a stem. And the stem looks like a man. And to propagate this, we cut a part of the the leaf. No, sorry, the stem. This is, is this, this is not the leaf. Now the leaves are the sharp, prickly spines. 
now they, they are they are very small because in the desert they cannot afford to lose water. And over here they are over there is another cactus plant. Oh, so sharp! Very, very sharp!